Hello everybody named Shlees. Welcome out everybody to my House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1, The Sin Encounter. Now what is this encounter? Basically I was inspired by Cinema Sins, the YouTuber. And basically I'm instead of making mistakes, instead of doing a sin for every single mistake in the freaking the storyline or the mistakes in the freaking direction of the directors. No, my entire thing is a sin is for the sin of each character in House of the Dragon. And since there are two teams, Team Blacks, Team Greens, I'm splitting up the sins of each uh, of of each team. I'm splitting them up and I'm having each sin for each side they commit. Now here's the thing, I just want to be very clear. When each character makes a sin or a mistake, does not make them eat wholly evil. Like, for instance, Rhaenyra. We could objectively say, for in season one, that Rhaenyra is nowhere near as evil as Aegon. Aegon's a rapist. The thing is, though, Rhaenyra's been more alive longer than Aegon. She made a lot more mistakes than Aegon. What I mean by sins, they are mistakes. They don't mean like the, the entire character is more or less... If the character has more sins, does that does not make them more evil. So Aegon, if he's like has like six sins or seven sins total for the entire thing series that I'm going to be doing of this, it's not because he Aegon's less evil than Rhaenyra. It just means that he has less time. So everybody, this entire video is I'm going to be doing a uh, like 10 part series. We're going to do each uh, dang uh, episode of House of Dragon from season one. And we're going to be doing each sin counter. And for just to be very clear again, this is entire sins are just mistakes of what the characters make on the show. Not what the directors have done. Not especially what that director did in episode seven. <laughs> the guy from the long night from Game of Drones. We do not include that. What I am just including is just the sins of the characters and what they each have made a mistake in the t in House of the Dragon and how each team has led to something to the Targaryen Civil War or the Dance of Dragons in the House of the Dragon TV show. So let's start off with the Blacks. For the Blacks, there's only one character that really committed any sin, and that will be Daemon Targaryen in Episode 1 for Season 1. Now, here's the thing. When I mean sense, I mean they made mistakes that either got them in trouble in the first place, risked their entire situation, and, and put themselves, basically, they shot themselves in the foot. Anytime these characters made mistakes or they did something terrible, I'm counting it as, as a sin. And for Damon, there are two sins he committed in episode one. One, he said to air for a day, publicly, in front of like 30, 40 people. This is right after... Your brother is grieving, and Renice and, and Rhaenyra is grieving as well. You said the heir for a day, and instead, when your brothers confront you about it, and people say Otto Hightower reported it to the king, you could blame Otto Hightower for all you want, but Otto Hightower is just a guy who just uh, hears something and he just spreads the gossip. That's all he does. Damon still said the heir for a day, and Damon. When confronted by his brother, this is another sin I'm giving him for. He says we all mourn in our own way. And instead of, like, apologizing to his brother for actually saying it, or just to be, you know, a little bit regretful for how he acted, he just really goes hard that Viserys is a weak man. And because of that, he's no longer heir. The entire Dance of Dragons starts because Daemon... Did not not dance the dragons, but the entire reason why Damon is no longer the heir is because of himself. People could blame Otto High Tower for this, but to me, Damon has his only himself to blame for his entire situation that he caused between his brother and himself. That's it. And uh, for the Greens, the only person to commit a sin is Sir Otto High Tower. Now, what did Otto High Tower do? Well, he did a very standard thing. He pimped his young daughter out to the king or to a powerful man. This is a typical thing in medieval standards, but it's a sin because you did this right after the day of the queen's damn funeral. That just shows how vicious she is. And the fact is, he didn't give a damn about his daughter's feeling in the sense. So, pimping out his daughter and doing right after the funeral is two sins. Third sin, he's endangering future generations of his family. Like any other person, and if you look at Aserato... Look at Corlys the Sea Snake. Any man who puts their daughter or their blood on the on the Iron Throne or in any shape in the kingdom, they're always going to be a target either by the poor or by other lords who want to take over the kingdom. 
So either way, Sir Otto Hightower, since he grasped for power, he's putting future generations of his family at risk. And it doesn't matter if Rhaenyra is a good person or not. Other people want the drone. They're going to want the drone and they're going to take the drone. And the other fourth and final sin I'm going to give to him is that he's talking about the a future heir right after the Queen's funeral. Now, people could say uh, that he wants to get Damon out of power. He wants to put his own blood on the Iron Throne. Either way, talking about the future heir or who's going to be the future heir right after the Queen just died could have waited a freaking month. It could have waited another two months. You didn't need to go right away and say any of this stuff about uh, who should rule after the king. Is it Damon or is it Rhaenyra? He should not have brought it up. And he said, since he's so ambitious, since he just wants his blood on Iron Drone, he takes a sin for this. So to me, out of the first episode, there is only one character for each side to commit a sin. Rhaenyra did nothing wrong. Allison just did what her father told her to do. And again, get out of your 2023 mindset, people. The fact is, young girls in medieval time periods could barely ever say no to the fire, uh, their father. They, and to me, there's only one person that commit a sin in, at the beginning of House of the Dragon, and he's the first person to commit any sin, and that is Sir Otto Hightower. He leads the Greens with four points, and Daemon Targaryen has two points for the Blacks so far. And again, future videos will to uh, future videos for episode two, episode three, episode four will be dissecting what each character has done uh, wrong and what they have pushed more. Like Sir Otto Hightower wanting Aegon on the Iron Throne or pushing for certain things uh, is going to give him future sins. Daemon Targaryen about what he does, whether it's killing his wife, that will be a sin on him as well. If Rhaenyra does stupid mistakes, she will have a sin. Alicent will have future uh, sins. The entire point of this video is to really clarify where the dance of the dragons, the, the Targaryen of war, how it started, and what each character has done to participate to add more conflict into this entire realm. So in my personal opinion, the episode 1, the Greens are taken over. Sir Otto Hightower has 4 points and Daemon Targaryen has 2 points. Please let me know what y'all think, everybody. You think I should have gave a sin to Allison? You think I should have gave a sin to Rhaenyra? You think I should have gave a sin to Viserys? What's your personal opinion, everybody? Angelique Scarfett, everybody. Bye-bye. Uh,